The common practice of paying medics to promote drug company products has long been criticized as creating a conflict of interest. Now, GlaxoSmithKline's chief executive, Andrew Whitty, has said it will begin discussions on how to stop direct payments to doctors for giving speeches and attending medical meetings, as well as looking to cut the link between bonuses for sales teams and the number of prescriptions doctors write. The British drugs giant is currently being investigated by Chinese authorities who are looking into allegations it funneled illegal payments to doctors and government officials in an effort to lift drug sales. Though Mr Whitty has denied there is any link between the investigation in China and the news today. Last year, Glaxo was involved in the largest healthcare fraud settlement in U.S. history. It paid a £1.9 billion fine after pleading guilty to improperly promoting drugs and not reporting relevant safety information. Glaxo is one of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies, with pre-tax profits of more than £7.5 billion. This move could have wider implications for the way in which drugs companies conduct their relationship with the medical world. A risk for Glaxo, although it's following a model that it's now been implementing in the US over the past couple of years, so it's already trialled this there, and to some extent it's anticipating what is going to happen in, in the US anyway, but it's a bold move to roll this out into the rest of the world and to follow through in the other European countries and in other, other markets. But I think investors will, apart from uh, you know, today's small fall with the market, will be happy with this.